Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Falcon Indoor Bowls Club, just outside Chelmsford, where we are into the last 64 knockout stage of the UK Open. Next match coming up here on the show mat, you've got Mitchell Harvey, so <laughs> Mitchell Harvey, Mitchell Young of England, playing with Taylor Spectrums, and he's playing against Stephen Gale from the Isle of Man, playing with Taylor Internationals. Just waiting for the marker. Well, the game's just starting off. We've had the last 64 matches for both the shield and the plate. And now we're on to the last 64 matches of the main or the cup competition. So whilst we're waiting for the market to turn up, we'll have a quick look around. Lots, there's Ian, our trusty umpire. Lots of players either playing or getting ready to play. There's Marty McNichol just coming past. Steve Puttock here, that'll be a good game. Steve Puttock is playing Peter Roberts. Just looking around, seeing any more that look a good little game. Oh, there's a cracking game going on here, Matt 23. Uh, Chris Willis playing against Sam Harvey. That will be an interesting game. I'll try and can't keep you updated with all there. We need to concentrate on one. So the mark is ready. Players are ready. Enjoy the game. Jack sets the middle. Enjoy the game. So Mitchell Young leading. He's on the backhand. Just slightly through. <laughs> Stephen Gale, following with Taylor Internationals. Both quite swingy bowls. Spectrum's not not a really common bowl. But Mitch has been playing well with these. Better wait for the second bowl. Tuna, nice to see you on again. Steve's made a good adjustment here. Yeah, just gently, gently rolls up to be a toucher. Marker puts a spray at your con. Hi, Keith. Old Tinnerers. Mitch just slightly under the line there. Good pace to just try and move that green international. Young with his final bowl of this end, first end. Taking a long, hard look at it. In favour the backhand, he's trying to, needs to pop the jack. He's currently one down. He's not far away here. Yeah? It's good effort this. Oh, we're just unlucky. He's caught the front ball. Stephen Gale, line one shot here at the moment. Just comes to have a look at the situation. Steve, don't think it's going to quite finish for him. Not quite. Looks like one shot to Stephen Gale. Yep, one shot to Stephen Gale. So first end over. Stephen Gale takes a one shot lead. Steve Young supporting his young boy as ever. Shannon, give us a wave. Second end. Expecting a, a good drawing game here. Hi, Victor. Welcome to everybody. 
last 64 match of the UK Open. Opening competition of the 24-25 season on the short map players tour. Great start from Steve Gale, three-quarter jack, front toucher. Decent reply from Mitch. Just slides through. Four inches, five inches past. Steve sends this one really wide. Sits down, it's close. No, still just the one. Hello, Connie. Can you not see from where you sat? Very good bowl from Mitch. Must be lying one shot. Possibly two. Stephen Gale announces his weight at the other end, raises his hand. Certainly is Lynette. Yeah, good ball from Steve. He's gone from possibly two down to three up. So that's an excellent result. These guys don't hang about. Mitch is already on this. Is that shot? Is it going to sit? Sits, it might be shot. I think it's certainly second. His last bowl of this end, I think he's pushed that one a bit. If he sits back and knocks his down, no. I think it's one to Stephen Gale. Players will agree, yeah. Steve's calling one. Yeah, one shot, Stephen Gale. Goes into a two shots to nil advantage after two ends. Third end. Three quarter jack again. John James, good afternoon. Another very good start from Steve. Mitch doesn't hang about, he's always on that mat quick. Trademark Mitch. Good line, just drop short. Ten inches short. Stephen pushing this wide again. Stephen playing with Taylor Internationals. A big finish on the Internationals. Very good bowl, this. Lane two. Very good. Mitch having a close look. How's he going to play this? Steps out on the backhand. Just a little bit of weight on this. Yeah, nothing excessive. Good contact here. Jack stays on. Toucher for Mitch. Jack's very open now, as you can see. Steve steps out. Looks like he's bowling a, a big swingy backhand here, which you can always close to the block here. Too close. I still think Steve's line shot there. I think it's only one, possibly two. Mitch is a bit better here. This will finish now as well with the Spectrum. Yeah, good bowl this from Mitch. I think there's only one thing we're going to see from Steve now. I think Steve will attack this on the forehand. Looking for Jack or bowl. 
Yep, shaping up that way. Hi, Richard. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah, Steve just shaping up to play a little bit of run on this. He's very close to either the jack or the bowl here. Oh, oh, he nearly got the perfect result. He'd be happy with that. He's certainly lined one shot. As I said, could be two. So Mitch looking to replicate that last draw. Just trying to draw down on the backhand again. He's not far away again, is he? Yeah, draw shot. I think that's enough. Steve McGill will tell us yet. Yeah. Steve's uh, reaching to one to Mitch. Yeah, one shot to Mitch. So after three ends, it's got ticks over. Steve McGill leads by two shots to one after three ends. Always going to be a tight affair, this. Don't expect anybody to run away with it. So on to the fourth end. Yeah, very good start for Mitch. Keeps the jack at three quarter. Hi, Robbie. Joan, thanks for joining us. So if you're just joining us, just catch up now for everybody. This is the uh, main or the cup competition, UK Open, short mat players tour, first event of the season, and you're watching a last 64 match, so it's the first knockout stage of the cup competition, and you've got Mitchell Young of England playing with the Blue <coughs> Taylor Spectrums, he's playing against Stephen Gale of the Isle of Man, he's playing with Green Taylor Internationals. Steve on the backhand, just trying to push this jack through. It's very close here. Great bowl. Mitch will be looking to remove that bowl now. Yeah, it just puts a little bit of pace on this. Very close here. It looks very good. He's done enough. So Mitch line one, possibly two shots here. Stephen Gale with his third wood of this end. He's just putting a little bit of run on it. He's looking to play the split here. It's a good effort. He still finds himself two down, I think. Have a quick look. Currently, two shots advantage to Mitch at the moment. Mitch will be looking to draw one round the back here, protect that back green bowl. Steve won't be short with his next bowl. It's good effort from Mitch here. Yeah, it's good bowl that. Very good protector. Change Steve's thinking slightly. Looks as if the jack's going on to Mitch's bowl that you've just seen delivered. Just the angle of that jack. So Steve Girl announced his weight on his backhand. He's normally pretty good at these. Block. So Richard Young pick up two shots there. Yeah, Steve admits to two. Look like two to me. So Mitchell Young picks a two up and moves into a three shots to two advantage. Four ends played. Sir Nigel Charles. Thanks, 
Mario. Hope you're enjoying it. Keep watching if you're enjoying it. Don't forget to go onto YouTube. Search for Short Map Players Tour. There are a lot of games to watch. And subscribe to the channel. Everything helps promote this great sport of ours. To a decent start for Mitch. Bowls on the back end. Stephen Gale looking to just draw this jack on the forehand and does. Excellent bowl. Mitchell stays with his backhand. A very good reply this. Sits down, it'll be shot. It's not gonna sit. Voila, good afternoon. Look who we've got in the background, Noella. Studying the game intently as ever. Okay, great draw from Stephen Gale. Mitch finds himself two down this end. So Mitch shaping up to play a little bit of weight here. What's he got? A bit unlucky there. Just caught his own ball. Still, it's a clear path this time. So, depending on what Stephen does now. Stephen Bowl, Stephen Gale, the two green bowls you see. Taylor Internationals. Big swingy wood. So here's a big finish on that. Which probably the shot he's playing a blocker. Just to stop Mitch attacking this. I think Mitch has still got a chance on the forehand. He'd prefer it on the backhand. Purely because he gets a better result on the backhand. But yeah, a little bit of run here on the forehand. Always a bit tight here. Would he be lucky? No, too tight. Strangely, these bowls don't move much with pace on these mats. You're normally pretty well straight at it if you're playing weight. But if you're under the line, they do turn a little bit. Steve Gale looking to make this turn it into a big three. Has he got a three out of this? Looks like, you know, I don't know, I think it's still two from here. Well, Mitch will certainly take two out. Yeah. Yeah, so they agree on two. Steve Gale picks up a two. To go to four shots to three advantage. Move on to the sixth end. Hello, Sue Smith. Hope you're well. Three-quarter jack. Great lead from Stephen Gale. Back toucher. Difficult to play against that. Good effort for Mitch. The weight was perfect. Just slightly under the line. Slightly straighter this side of the mat. As you can see, Stephen's a little bit straighter there. These are swingy woods. Another touch comes in. Very good bowls. Mitch just having a little run at this. Will he get any contact? No. Again, much, not much, but a slightly straighter side of the mat there. Hi Nigel, hope you're well mate. Nice to see Dom yesterday and have a chat. 
Sorry we don't see you at these these days. So Mitch announcing weight on the forehand this time. He's certainly in the area this time. Oh, it's a good result, isn't it? Got to be happy with that. He's changed the head completely. He's got a back toucher. Hi, Jimmy. Stephen, thanks for joining us, guys. So last bowl of the end for Stephen Gale. Takes a look at the head. Polishes the chalk off the bowl. This looks a little bit tight. Although it does say straight on that side. Oh, he won't be happy with that. So the ball sat down. Hi, Crabby. The ball sat down, so Mitch has now got a chance to... He can use those bowls just to draw this jack through. Certainly in the area. Oh, he might be a bit tight again. He will not be happy with that. Won't be happy with that one at all. So that's uh, two shots to Stephen Gale. Still smiling now. Mitch would have really thought he had a big chance there. Big, big target, probably 15 inch target to get a result. So the scoreboard will tick over and Stephen Gale will go into six shots to three advantage after six ends. Jack goes three quarter again. Market places the Jack. Thanks for joining us, everybody. So if you just joined us, you're watching the last 64 cup match. And we are at the Falcon Indoor Bowl Centre, just outside of Chelmsford in Essex. This is an SMPT event and it's the UK Open 2024. The first event of the 2024-25 season. It was an interesting event, this first event of the season. Often a few surprise results. Players getting back into the game again after a summer break. Chatting to people a weekend, people coming in to play this, having played Crown Green in the summer. Other people playing flat green, the Southerners playing flat. So some adjustments to be made. Decent start for Mitch this time. Finds himself holding shot. Steve comes onto the forehand. I think this is a bit. Well, it's holding its line again. It is definitely much straighter that hand. Just a touch there from Steve. It's John Lax over in the corner having a shout. He's obviously played a good ball. Mitch looking to get rid of Steve's ball. Not quite playing it positive enough. Hi, Jevon. Steve has a quick look. doing here. Yeah, it's a good bowl. It's just a tactical bowl, really. to attack that ball, Couldn't quite get there, like one to Steve, little nod from Mitch, so the scoreboard will tick over, Stephen Gale goes into a seven shots to three advantage after seven ends played, get up the other end quick because these two don't hang about,
the place is the jack. Get the camera in a good spot. Steve Gale leads off. Four shot advantage after seven ends. Yeah, another great start. Really drawing very, very well at the moment. Chung comes down the same hand. Close here. Just pulls up short. Sits down. Only four inches short of the jack. Steve will stay with the back end. Yeah, another good bowl here. Great start from Stephen again. Two good touches, keeping the marker busy. Hi, Agu. Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining us. Mitch, be more positive. Looks a good result this time. Oh, he's a bit unlucky, isn't he? Got to say, he's unlucky there. Good contact with the jack. Stephen Gale just looking to draw into that split. It's very close. Yeah, it's very good, this. Great bowl. You watch these top players, they really do make it look very easy. Mitch attacking this again. He's definitely in the region this time. Just caught the edge of that bowl. So finds himself two down again. Steve just coming to have a look. Does he fancy that draw on the forehand? Just draw through between Mitch's two bowls. Mitch's are the blue bowls. See this see that colour well. Not sure how clear the colour is your end. Yes, yeah, so Steve's coming on the on his forehand, looking to draw into that split. He's looking at this, he's very close here. What a bowl this is. Superb bowl. You're glad you retired, Steve. It's not bad, Steve. Mitch just attacking this now. Oh, he's unlucky. Certainly three, possibly four. It's, it's definitely three. He's asking for four. Mitch will take a quick look. Yeah, it's a where, isn't it, Tom? Superb bowls, yeah, big, a big fall from Steve. That superb bowl, the, drawing through that little split on the forehand. We've all seen the one online, haven't we, where that happened on the indoor game, but this that's a tough shot on this as well. Very tough on the short mat. Hi, Trotty. Sorry you're not here, mate. I had a chat with Emma, hope you're well. See you back in three weeks, I hope, in Belfast. So Stephen Gale leads off. Not happy, it's the first loose bowl he's had. Decent first bowl for Mitch's time. He finds himself eight shots down in the match. He needs to Stevens back to his perfect draw again. Looking around James John, there's a lot of Welsh players still playing in the cup, so yeah, they're doing okay. Oh, it's a bit unlucky for Mitch, he's actually sat Stevens' bowl down. That's good, Paul. Yeah, I think singles for a lot of us is the is the true test, isn't it? Yeah, I enjoy all formats of the game. But singles is a true test where you have to you're actually playing every position, aren't you? As a singles, you're playing lead and skip and changing things and everything else. Personally, love the game of singles. Not as good as I was, but you keep practicing, keep enjoying it. You can always ask questions on this site. The short map players too are more than happy to help out.
Steve just trying to draw into that space. Hasn't done it this time. I think there's no doubt Mitch will be at this again. He'll be playing a bit of weight on this, yeah. Possibly a result this time. Oh, he's got the jack back to his own. One shot to Mitch. Yep. So scoreboard ticks over. Nine ends played. Stephen Gale leads by 11 shots to four. <laughs> so, Mitch sticks with the three-quarter jack. Hi, Charlie. Just slightly short, probably four inches short of the jack. Mitch needs a good end here. Really needs a big end. Good start from Stephen again. What will Mitch do here? I'd be tempted to just run this a little bit. Yeah, thought he might be. Just trying to push this jack through, trying to change the game up a bit. Yeah, that's a good result. Line two. Stephen's drawing has been absolutely... Well, they're both playing very well, of course, you can see. Stephen's drawing has been exceptional. Very close again here. But he gets a touch. It's not quite the result he wanted, but he gets a touch. A bit of chalk's always good. Mitch will be back to the draw, I think. Yeah, that needs to finish, and it will. Yeah, very good for Mitch, lies two. I suggest he needs two, three would be good. He needs them points on the board. Stephen just looking to move this jack now. He hasn't quite got shot. That's what Mitch do here. I think he's going to try and play the green ball away. Oh, Mitch had a bit of a result there. Moves that into two. Yes, Paul, that's correct, yes. Some players choose to put the jack down themselves, but yeah, whoever wins the end has the choice of where the jack goes. So Stephen playing weight. Nothing excessive. It's a bit wide here. Oh, he's got one out. He'll be happy with that to only drop a one. So that's one to Mitch Young. Scoreboard will tick over, 11 shots to five after 10 ends played. So only two ends to go in a six shot deficit. So Mitch needs a little bit of a miracle here, but I'm sure he'll be trying hard, never gives up. So we move on to the 11th end. It's what been an excellent standard of bowls again. Mitch puts a jack three quarter. That was a decent start. Steve also on the back end. Yeah, very good. This Just very fractionally under the line. Mitchell might fancy this. He's got to do something a bit special now. He needs. Six shots out of these last two ends just to get a draw. It's a big ask against somebody who's bowling as well as Steve. Mitch is a bit wide here, I think. He's got a result, he's used his own bowl. Yeah, the first bowl wasn't a toucher, so that's off. It makes Mitch's job hard now, even harder. You really need to keep your bowls on the mat when you need threes and fours. 
great ball from Stephen Gale again here. Yes, relentless. Very, very difficult to play against. But Mitchell says a slight opportunity to get rid of that. Yeah, I think he's done enough, has he? Oh, he could have rather had the bowl there, I think. Sat down, still doesn't have a shot. Hi, Brenda. Sorry you're not here this weekend, my love. Looking forward to seeing you. So Stephen's pushing it wide on the backhand again. He's coming in close again. He's just going to die, I think. But he's changed the head. Much more difficult for Mitch to do anything with this. As I said, Mitch needs... Well, if Mitch picks a two up this end, which is looking slightly unlikely... I agree, Michael. It beats breakdancing any day. So, yeah, Mitch Young needs to remove this back bowl of Stevens and stay for two. He needs a minimum of two here. He looks like he's got it. Yeah, it's a great bowl, that, from Mitch Young. Very good. Mitch looking slightly pensive because you know what's going to happen now. Steve. Stephen Gale will attack this slightly. I don't think he'll be silly, but he'll be looking to just change that head. He doesn't want to drop a two, put any pressure on. He's got a result here. Yeah, he's got a bowl out. Mitch is happy, he's happy with that. Mitch shakes hands all over. So uh, yeah, another great bowl from Stephen Gale. A, a, a very good game. Yes, Mitch needed at least two there, so uh, a good game of bowls. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we'll catch up with you later. Um, we'll be streaming plenty today, so please keep watching us. Uh, we'll have a quick look round for you while we're here. Just finishing off. A couple of choice games here. Let's have a quick look here. It's Lawrence Montbit of Scotland against Roy Gittos of Wales. Just a, a very quick look here. What's happening here? Be positive from Rory. Lawrence is always, always smiling. The smiling assassin. Six shots across with my dodgy eyes after ten ends. That's a very close game. Chris Willies and Sam Harvey here. Try and find the score out. There's a handshake there, so I'm not sure who's won that. So, lots of good bowls going on. We're not going to try and catch up with everything. It's virtually impossible at this stage. A bit later on, we'll keep you updated, but uh, as you can see in the background now, lots of people still very interested here. Um, we'll be back a bit later. Thanks for watching this game and keep supporting the Short Mac Players Tour. Don't forget... And Gary's game of this. We'll have a look at that, Turner. I'll talk to the committee. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to jump on YouTube. You can watch lots of these top-quality games. And please subscribe to the channel. All your support is much appreciated. Thanks for watching. See you all later.